All righty. We're going to look at some gear. Because, quite frankly, I'm getting a little bit tired of making uh, social slash political slash thoughts on what I think is happening in the world today videos. First thing, this setup's kind of centered around my AK-47 and my Beretta Inox 92 pistol. First thing we have is a gun belt. This one's extremely stiff as it should be. This one is an outer belt. Uh, could be used as a duty type belt. Critical on these with all the weight this is going to be carrying are the belt keepers. They go a long way in keeping this belt in place because they wrap around your inner belt keep everything where it should. I'm not really sure who made this belt. Let me see if I can find a manufacturer on it. I've had it a while. Can't seem to find it. Typical of your tactical type instructor type gun belt. For a holster, I'm using the Black Hawk Serpa. It's got the finger release. It wasn't giving any problems coming out. I just had it at a funky angle. We're at a 9mm Inox pistol. Carries 15 rounds plus one in the chamber. I carry one set 147 grain Winchester hollow points in it. Just regular white box stuff. Ballistically, I found them to be good to go. So, belt keepers. Got a Black Hawk magazine pouch for the AK-47. This one's covered. Carries two AK mags. Okay, that gives me 60 rounds of 7.62 by 39 ammunition on the belt. What a lot of people don't realize when we compare the AK-47 mags and ammunition to AR mags and ammunition, these are significantly heavier. Uh, but I found this today at Big Bend Outfitters and uh, I was looking for something because in one of the competitions I've got coming up uh, you have to, you're mandated to load from your belt, you can't use a chest rig you can't use a flick vest it's got to come from your belt or your pocket. Between those 60 rounds and the other 30 rounds in the gun, should be good to go. Next, a little nylon sheath there. I believe this is a frost cutlery knife. It's a skinning type knife. I know the frost cutlery typically is not the highest quality. This one holds a good edge. It sharpened up good. Full tang. And having that straight blade, fixed blade knife for what it's worth still a lot sturdier than my pocket knife which stays on me just about all the time but this gives me a little heavier duty option next we have the Uncle Mike's double mag carrier it's 215 round Beretta mags in there
and there's the other one. So that gives me 41 rounds of pistol ammunition with the gun and the belt. This is not my everyday carry setup. In Florida, we generally have to conceal our handguns. And this is a setup you would use if you saw trouble coming, if you had a major catastrophe, if you were someplace where you could uh, carry out in the open like I can around the camp uh, when I'm in the woods. And the gun's back in place. So this setup, you know, gives me something I can throw on reasonably quick. If I see trouble coming, I'll a ways off. You know, is it my everyday rig? No. I typically use this when I'm teaching the more advanced classes. I would use it, you know, if we had an emergency come up where open carry would be appropriate. Now, we're limited in Florida on where we can open carry. You're generally limited to hunting, fishing, and being on private property. Trying to hold the phone and move this stuff around a little bit. what appears to now be a mass of camouflage materials, a flick vest. Trying to get it in position where we can look at some stuff. And uh, try to make sense of it. Again, this is a setup I would not carry every day. This would be something where something serious has happened and maybe uh, you needed to work out of it for a short period of time. I'm thinking a couple of days tops. Um, first thing have a larger uh, knife. It's got a serrated edge. Uh, I usually don't go for knives with a serrated edge, but this has got enough of a regular cutting edge. It's not a big issue, and if I have to cut rope or something, I've got the serrations on it. And it's got a good set of grips on it. Feels pretty good in the hand. Sharpened up well. Good piece of equipment. Over here we have Universal Pistol Mag case. But I've got one of these Ozark Trail flashlights in it. It's cheap light. They're about eight bucks at Walmart, but they work really well and they hold up good. First aid kit. This one's got a bunch of trauma stuff in it. It's got a lot of everyday first aid stuff you would use in it for cuts, scrapes, stuff like that. But it's also got enough trauma stuff in it to handle 
uh, a serious bleeding, arterial bleeding. You can probably get that stopped with. It's got a tourniquet. It's got the quick clot stuff in it. Uh, Z bandages. Got a little tag along bag here. We've got a compass, lighter, a couple other things in here. Poncho, emergency blankets. You also carry a couple of days worth of food in there if you eat light. Granola bars, stuff like that. You're going to be living large, no, but you're at least going to have something to snack on. Canteen, water purification tabs. Some people would say, well, you need to be running two canteens. Well, I'm not planning on living out of this thing for an extended period of time. I'll do the best I can with what I got. On the other shoulder, I know this video isn't going to show everything like I want to. Got the extension mic for a ham radio. I've got it run down through the Molly. There's a radio pouch. This one's programmed into our hunting channel. These radios typically around here are good for anywhere from two to five miles. Another extra magazine for the Beretta. Now we're up to 61 rounds in it. Magazine pouch carries two AK mags. It's got these quick release things on it where he just holds them in with the bungee. Good setup. Um, when I said this isn't stuff I'm going to wear every day, I use it when I'm training people. Uh, it may require a little more of a loadout, you know, be used for emergency use, um, you know, whatever you can get yourself into. Uh, you'd at least have something to work with. You know, is it something I would want to go and live for weeks at a time out of? No. Um, is it possible? Yeah, I guess if you're resourceful enough and you're in the right area and you know how to scavenge and all sorts of other things. But that's a look at some of my setup. I'm sorry the lighting isn't the greatest in the world. But, uh, you know, please overlook that. You know, understand I put this stuff together to meet a particular set of needs. And I know some people say, well, you ought to be using this, you ought to be using that. Well, okay, if that meets your needs better than this setup, that's fine. Feel free to use it, you know. I put this together with what I had and uh, set it up for what I was going to use. And so far, I've had no complaints with it. Later on.